Welcome back, guys. So I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Also, I want to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. I uh, can't thank you guys enough for reaching 1,000. And we're going to keep on making these videos. So today I'm out here at a campsite. It's currently around 50 degrees. We've got a low of 33 tonight. Some of the gear I brought with me is a zero degree sleeping bag, which is overkill for tonight. Also brought the buddy heater just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but I did bring it just in case. We've got some good food to cook tonight. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to get everything unpacked and just kind of hang out for a little while. Maybe see if we can find some firewood and yeah, enjoy this quiet campground. Alright, so a little bit of info about where I'm camping at tonight. So I'm located near some caves at this campground that were mined during the War of 1812. And the reason why they were mined is to get material for gunpowder. And I think it was called potassium nitrate. And there's some massive caves out here that I would like to go check out. But it's currently about 3 o'clock. I got here around 2.15 or so. So I got here pretty early so I would have some daylight when I got here. Here pretty soon, we're going to go ahead and start cooking the food so we ain't cooking in the dark. And we can go ahead and get our mess cleaned up and all that good stuff. Pretty nice, quiet little camp area. Never been here before. Probably will come back because it's open year round. So here's about all the firewood I could find. Cheers, guys. It's kind of windy up here. It's not too bad with the sun out, but I imagine once the sun goes down behind the hill back there, it's going to be pretty chilly. So I would like to check out the Cascade Cave. And the reason why is because it's multiple caves in one. It's supposed to be the biggest set here of caves. I think there's a, like a underground waterfall. It's like 30 feet. So I'd really like to check that out, but I don't know if we'll get to, if we'll have time in the morning, but we'll try, see if we can find it. So right now we're heading out to check this bunk house. And I thought these looked pretty cool. So I figured I'd show you guys these. This one says reserved on it, but check this out. So here's the bunkhouse. Then you got your picnic table, your fire pit over there. If you guys want to see me stay in one of them sometime, I know it's not as interesting as like truck camping is, but I'm definitely willing to give it a try. It'd probably be pretty fun during the cold winter months. It looks pretty cool. All right, so the sun's starting to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fire going. If you guys haven't seen this, this is my fire kit. I just keep everything I use to start a fire with in here. I've got a video on it if you want to see what all is inside.
So while these twigs are going, I'm gonna go ahead and add some bigger pieces on. Check out the sky right here, guys. We got some blue, some pinkish purple, and then we got some yellow, yellowish orange. Awesome sky out here, guys. All right, guys, well, we're in the back of the truck. Got changed into some warmer clothes. It's currently about 7.30. Thermometer's reading about 50 degrees right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get to bed pretty early. And we'll get up early in the morning and try to go see if we can find some pretty cool cliffs and caves to look at. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning.
Alrighty guys, well good morning. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can find some of these caves or something to look at this morning. Alrighty, so I managed to find a couple of caves and there's some bridges that go across this creek to them. I don't know if you can see right here, there's a bridge. Check this out. We're gonna get up closer here in just a second. There's a sign up here. Let's see what it says. Oh, we can't visit this cave. We need a permit, it says. Oh, this one's really cool. Uh, the one over here is called Laurel Cave that you have to have a permit to, but right here it doesn't say that a permit's required, so let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. It'd be kind of cool to get up in there a little further, but just to play it safe, I'm probably not gonna go that far. <laughs> and then again, this one here, a permit is required. See, there's a sign. There's a bridge that goes across. And then on this trail right here, you can still see it. Right up there. But you just can't go up in there without a permit. All right, let's see if we can find us one more thing to look at before we get out of here. Pretty cool caves though, that's for sure. Honestly, I didn't think they'd be that close to the road, but they are. I thought we might have to hike in a little bit, but they're right there. So here's another pull off spot. There's just a lot of like broken, broken up rock and debris right here from where they mine. As you can see here, big rock here and all these rocks over here along the creek bed. That's a big boulder. Look at the tree growing in this thing. See the roots? That tree's alive. Wow. There's multiple trees. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't really see any more like caves like we had earlier, but just some massive rocks. Alrighty guys, well, I was going to check out the uh, the Cascade Cave, which is a set of three caves, but apparently you have to get tickets or something. I wasn't sure if you're allowed to just go on your own. It seems like you have to take a tour in order to see it. I mean, that really sucks, but I mean, we did get to see a couple of caves today, and overall it was pretty cool to see them. So, uh... I think I'm gonna close this one out here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you wanna see more camping trips like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.